is half past eight in the morning um, and my grow house is what they call it greenhouse I want to call it has arrived um I shouldn't have paid for delivery I thought it was going to be huge and I wouldn't be able to fit it in my car but um <laughs> it's tiny <laughs> so um I'm going to procrastinate and not work and put this up so I guess that's the plan for today. Also, we're going to see if it's damaged because um, they didn't deliver it yesterday because um, they forgot that they had stock and then they were like, we can't deliver you this one because the box is broken. And I was like, I don't care if the box is broken, just so long as the product is fine. <laughs> so um, we'll see. I asked if I could take it back if it was in fact broken and they said yes. <laughs> so now we know it can fit in the car if it is broken. But let's put this up. I'm so excited. snag um they have given me one too many of the wrong pieces so that corner piece needs to be one of these and the only piece left is one of these um and uh i can't swap it out from anywhere else as far as i can tell i mean maybe i can get away Maybe if I drill a hole, yeah, okay, that'll work. I think I'm gonna drill a hole there, and then that can go in there, and I'll swap out from something perhaps less structurally integral. <laughs> it was going so well. Okay, well, I'm gonna drill the hole in this quickly. Okay, I'm back. There's a hole. Um, so I think I'm going to swap out either one of those or one of those because they're less structurally important. I feel like it's important to have the roof on strong. <laughs> and then I'll just MacGyver something really attractive for that. Um, let's see, I think I need to hack a little bit more out, but yeah. <laughs> Um, initial thoughts, um, there are two tears, <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix those. Um, the zip is already torn off there, and um, this is torn off, so I'm going to work out how to fix that. Also, none of the shelves are flat, and they don't fit. <laughs> um, so I'm going to wire them to the frames and bend them back into shape. But, bar those complications, the greenhouse of goodness is officially up. It looks a bit ridiculous with the shade cloth. I'm going to try and shift it. But we're in. Okay, I'm going to fix those and then put some plants in it. Oh, and sandbags to stop it blowing away in Cape Town. Okay, it's been two weeks, I think, since I put this together. Um, I have sewn up all of the sad areas so the zip net works um, and put it back on. Ooh. <laughs> Barking and calm. But I just wanted to show you in here. Um, I wasn't going to do this because the internet is ruthless and I don't want people to... Um, 
don't say nasty things to me, honestly, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so most of these are what I would call my rehab plants, um, in that I just planted them outside, <laughs> in the garden, <laughs> to do what they will. So they don't look fab, but that's why they're in here now. So um, please don't crucify me. So we've got Pink Princess, which has shot out so many new leaves. All of these, I cut off most of its leaves because they were quite sunburnt. Um, but like, look at all the new growth. So I have great hopes. Um, that's a, uh, who is that? I think that's um, Holly next door. Shame. Sorry about his barking. This guy went super crispy outside. He will thunk it, but I'm hoping he will be happy in here. Look at all the new growth already. So, all good. This little guy, whose name I can never remember. I finally found a nice place for my Fatsia japonica, and it also seems very happy in here. Um, Graftophora tetrasperma, the only plant in the world that I can't get to root or grow. This is little Graftophora decursiva corner, little babies as well, growing really nicely. We'll pretend that Brazil. Oh, piece of grass for Rosie. Doesn't exist. Um, Thanksgiving or Easter cactus. Again, can't remember which one. These are my um, coming out of dormancy carnivorous plants. Again, they don't look great. I think he. Oh, no. Hi, Ro. Where are you? Do you want to come in? You can come in. No? Okay, cool. Well, if you want to, there you go. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, they're coming out of dormancy, so that's cool. Uh, sunburnt pepper, I'm your hope. Again, it'll all be fine. No judgment, please. This is the burnt corner, uh, philodendron red emerald cutting, which is growing really nicely. Peace lily, I think this is a f <sighs> philodendron xanadu lime, I think that's what it's called. Again, it got munched, munched outside. Just now happy. This is my little seedling and succulent selection. Um, these guys are all going dormant, hence why it looks like there's nothing in the pot. Uh, these little seedlings that you'll have seen on my lithop sewing video. What else? Some weedy chilies. Aglianema. Uh, Deshidia rusifolia. This little um, calathea that I got at that size. And it's already got a new leaf, so that's exciting. More decasivas. Um, this, I think, this was a stick. Um, I think this is a philodendron bipenifolium. I think. I kind of hope it's a hastatum, but I think it's a bipenifolium. It's a little sweet potato cutting. This, I don't know what it is. Mystery plant. Uh, this was a very abused cutting of a um, sport Ashkenanthus Mona Lisa. Um, most of the cuttings blew away in the wind. <laughs> Very sad homolamina that's coming back to life. Nice little begonia tamayi, I want to say. Zingonia maria. Um, then we have Peperomia angulata. I cannot believe the new growth in here, it's nuts. Another little red emerald cutting that's from outside. You can tell the difference in the leaves, it's amazing. Network Calathea, I know it's a Gepertia now, but I can't remember what it's called. This was from being inside. Um, I was watching the tap water and being lazy, but this new growth is very happy, so that's good. Uh, Syngonium or Angustum, again, new growth, as the growth in this greenhouse has been nuts. Uh, Rick Rack, Fishbone, again, since it's been in here, since it's been in here. Uh, Syngonium, Macrophyllum, Frosted Heart, Little Hoya, Comingiana, and shame, he, look how sunburned he got. Totally my bad. But, new growth, so all is well. Um, Horsehead Phyllo, Philodendron, Bipenifolium. That I'm very excited about. I need to give him a pole actually. But I kind of like him all trailing, but he does need a pole. Hello. Come in. You're not going to come in. Does the plastic terrify you? So that's pretty much it. 
so the aim of the greenhouse is obviously to rehab the plants that are in here but also just to propagate the living daylights out of my plants and give the cuttings away because plants are made for sharing so um we'll get to that eventually most of my cutting most of my plants are already quite small so it's going to take a while but eventually i want to dedicate maybe like these shelves just to cuttings to give away so watch this space but it's working beautifully it's not the fanciest tent in the world but i love it a lot and my wiring so that was the bed i had to drill and wiring and carefully tucking all the edges in has really made these nice and secure and all the sandbags so yeah that is the greenhouse of goodness and i couldn't love it more anyway thank you guys for watching um I hope you enjoyed and if you want to join please subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time for another party video won't we Rosie yeah